Welcome back to Let's Play No More Heroes, and today we're taking a dump. That's all we're doing. Okay, see you guys next time. Nope, not really. Oh god. So yeah, we're we're just about to face the boss. Whatever it is. Not the boss, the assassin. The the Shinobu. Whoever that is. So yeah, I better shut up before I talk over the cutscene. A rankings fight? Yeah, how about it? All right. Will you give me a minute? Wait for me in the hallway. Right. Mind if we do this somewhere else? You're the boss. Stop checking me out like that. You killed them? Such a gentleman. Are you asking out of tactical curiosity? Or are you just fucking with me? Bet they didn't offer much resistance. You got a problem with that? You got no idea how hard it is to hide your true self around here. Hey, I'm not accusing anybody. A real gentleman. I just turned my back, but you didn't strike. You are fucking with me! It's actually pretty hard to take cheap shots when your enemy is as bloodthirsty as yourself. People like us think alike, don't we? Shall we? Huh? You will pay with your life! At last I have my chance. I will now avenge my father! Something tells me you watch too many samurai movies, little girl. Sonic Sword! Holy What the hell was that? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I don't know. A lot of people seem to think this this boss is Shinobu is really hard, but I don't know, I think it's just a matter of learning when to attack, I mean, I guess it's like with most bosses in this game, you want to play defensively and try to just memorize what kind of attacks they do and like what taunts they kind of have. And I, I guess you gotta kind of be quick to react too and more cautious than anything. But then, I, I guess I will say, you know, after how easy Dr. Peace was, this can be kind of jarring. Yeah. I, I like, I like this battle though, this boss music, this, I don't know, this everything. I don't know, I like most fights in this game anyway. I mean, there's, there's just one I don't like, which I'll, I will bring up when we get there. Which is like halfway through the game. Yeah. Ow. Oh god. Oh, I didn't get hurt there. Why did I say ow? I, I, I like... I like arenas that are kind of like this, that are more complex than just like a circle that you fight in. Like, there's all these like different walls and pillars and stuff that get in the way that are kind of cool. That make the battle more complicated than it, it already is. I don't know. I think that's kind of cool. It kind of got to just learn to anticipate the attacks, and, you know, patterns, and sometimes they look the same. You just got to just be overly careful like that. Wow. That yeah, you can get hurt by that, I guess, if you're too close to her when she's swinging her sword around. Of course, you got to remember to jack off in the middle of battle, especially to this high school girl. Oh, God. She's just barely legal. Somehow I messed that up. I don't quite know how. Oh god. Yeah, she seems to have some tags like that where she like charges up and 
I, I guess the main reason why people think this battle is hard is because there's one she can do that basically takes most of your health away. Chances are if you've already got health chipped away, you'll probably die to it. And that that is a thing. Towards the end of the game, most of the bosses there have instant kill attacks, which are really a pain in the ass. Cause like if you've got a boss that's almost dead and they just kill you instantly when you have full health, it's just it's just really aggravating. Fortunately, I've learned to dodge those kinds of attacks, so it's not a huge deal for me. But yeah, Are you gonna attack me or not? Okay, now's my chance. Oh god. Yeah, I think that's the attack you really need to watch out for in this battle. Where she charges you like that. Okay, oh and that. And anything where any enemy charges an attack is generally something to watch out for. Ow. That was not good. Yeah, it's probably a good idea to try to get these pillars between you and her most of the time. Oh god, this is the problem with going back for health. Jesus. There we go, well we killed her. And we got a panty shot. That was awesome. And cool and all that. What are you waiting for? Finish me! Finish you? Don't look at me like that! Don't! I think there's been some kind of misunderstanding. I never fought your father. Liar! You... you killed him! Sliced him in two! You sick bastard! Whoa, whoa! Calm down a little. <laughs> Jacobs was my mentor. I'd never kill him. I watched Master Jacob's teachings on video over and over till the fucking tape wore out. We'd never met in person. Kill me. I admit it. I lost. Just do it! How about kill yourself after you kill me? Sounds like a bit straight out of a samurai movie, don't it? Shut up! Shut up and kill me already! You've already dishonored me enough. Do it yourself. <sighs> Please. I'll fight you anytime, anywhere. Until then, I'll be waiting. Oh god, so we didn't kill her. That was crazy. Man. And we... I think... Well, no, that's probably not enough money to enter the next ranking thing. But still... I guess. I don't know. Let's go back and see her. <laughs> you know, let's let's kill her right now. Even though we can't. She's just gonna sit here. I don't see her arm anywhere. That's weird. I think she'd like bleed out or something. There's Sylvia over there. Yes. And we get a heart container. And all this money. That's crazy. What are you doing, Sylvia? She's always just standing here. Like a stalker. Another victory, Travis. You are now ranked eighth. You gonna kill her? Probably not. She's still young. But I still have to follow the association's rules of conduct. Then let her live. Are we suddenly in love, Travis? Hell no. Then why take the risk of her coming back for revenge? In this business, there's no such thing as mercy. Kill when you can kill. That's bullshit. All I want to do is fight someone better than me. She'll grow up. Why not kill her when she's stronger? Yeah, then I'll kill her. You are sick. So are you. <laughs> So yeah, I guess she's the first assassin we didn't kill, and so, who knows, maybe she'll be back for the sequel. 
In any case, we still technically won, so we're number eight now. Or seven. Yeah, I guess we're seven. I don't remember. No, we're eight. We have to be eight. I don't know, this whole numbers thing confuses me when it's going backwards. Not that I can't count backwards, but like when it's like in this context. Yeah. Anyway, let's take another dump. Even though we just took a dump like 10 minutes ago. Then we can like listen to our voicemail. This is Diane from Beach. Not again. Video. Just calling to let you know that one of the videos returned yesterday wasn't one of ours. <laughs> it doesn't have a label on it, but it seems to be a recording of a guy humping a pillow. <sighs> the video you should have returned was um how to please a woman in bed 101. Oh my two. god. Please return it to us soon. Thank you. Okay, I'll do that later. Congratulations, Mr. Touchdown. Your registration for the 8th UAA rank is now complete. In addition, we have faxed you some information about the rankings in case you wish to continue your ascent. Please transfer the money into the designated account. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too, asshole. You're asking me to pay all this shitty money. Yeah. Wow, 250,000, 100, whatever. I'll see you guys next time when we earn all that money. Peace and chicken grease.